All right, in problem six, it says that from zero to six seconds, a screensaver on a computer screen shows two circles that start as dots and expand outward. Part A, we have that at the instant that the first circle has a radius of nine centimeters, the radius is increasing at a rate of three halves centimeters per second. Find the rate at which the area of the circle is changing at that instant and indicate units of measure. Okay, so let's first write what we have. We have um, that the radius, so dr dt, the radius is increasing at three halves centimeters per second. And we have to find the rate at which the area, so we want to find dA, dt at the rate at which the area is changing at that instant. So the rate at which the area is changing when r is nine. And this is when, and this rate is changing at this rate also when r is nine. Whoa. Okay, so let's first write out the area of a circle, which is pi r squared. And so if we want to find the derivative of a circle or the derivative of the rate of change of the area of a circle with respect to time, that would be that dA dt is equal to pi times 2r times dr dt using um chain rule. So we know what dr dt is and we know what the r is. So you've got to simply plug those in because we're given that. So dA dt is equal to pi times two R is nine, DRDT is three halves. And then we get 18 times three, 54. These two will cancel, three, 27 pi centimeters squared per second, since we're talking about area. And there you go. Right, part B, the radius of the first circle is modeled by this equation, W of t equals 12 minus 12 e to the negative 0.5 t for t between zero and six, where W of t is measured in centimeters and t is measured in seconds. At what time t is the radius of the circle increasing at a rate of three centimeters per second? Okay, so um, The radius, remember the, the radius is increasing at a rate of three centimeters per second. So we want to solve for some value of t. Now, um, w of t is this. So then w prime of t will be the derivative of this, which would be negative 0.5 times negative 12 or positive 6e to the negative 0.5t. And um, we essentially want to solve this um, derivative for the value that makes it equal to three. I mean, that's really simple as I can put it. So we want to set W prime of T equal to three. So it's just solving this. So three is then equal to six e to the negative 0.5 T. Dividing both sides by six, three over six, we, or we get one half, equals e to the negative 0.5t. So we're solving for t, so let's square both sides. So if we square both sides, we get one half times one half or one fourth. This squared, remember using power, you use the exponent property, you add negative 0.5t to negative 0.5t, that would just be negative one t or just negative t. Make the exponent positive. So we got one fourth equals one over e to the t. Cross multiplying. 
we get e to the t is equal to four. So we want to solve an exponential, so let's take the log of both sides, or in this case, the natural log. So the natural log of e to the t is equal to the natural log of four. The natural log of e to the t using exponent property, since this is the same base as natural log, this just becomes t times one or just t. And the right side is just a natural log of four still. And that's really it. Can't, we can't really find an exact decimal approximation because we don't get a calculator. So um, that'll be our solution. All right, final part. A model for the radius of the second circle is given by the function f for t between zero and six, where f of t is measured in centimeters and t is measured in seconds. The rate of change of the radius of the second circle is given by f prime of t, which is equal to t squared minus four t plus four. Based on this model, how many centimeters does the radius of the second circle increase from time t equals zero to t equals three? Okay, so um, since this is the derivative, integrating the, this derivative will give you the function. So we wanna find how much it increased from um, zero to three we just set up an integral from zero to three of this function. I mean, of this derivative. So I guess the derivative is technically, technically a function. So writing t squared minus four t plus four dt. And we just use our, you know, integration properties. So this becomes t cubed over three minus four t squared over two or just two t squared plus four t from zero to three. And then we evaluate. So we get three cubed or 27 over three minus two times three squared minus two times nine, whoa, over over that two, it doesn't matter. It just becomes 18 to minus two times nine or just minus 18 plus four times three, so plus 12. This, when you plug in zero into all of these, it's just zero. So this will just be nine minus 18, negative nine plus 12, positive three, and the units are centimeters. So it, Increases by three centimeters over that time period. And there you go, that's all there is to it. So I hope that helps, but if you have any questions or comments, um, feel free to let me know. So good luck.